Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Chrono Cross walkthrough. We are actually going to make a little trip here into the Hydra Marshes here. What is this, Homeworld, I think? Uh, and I, I would suspect we're going to go check out um, Gaia's Naval in this world. Uh, being that uh, in the previous video we took care of the, or I should say finished up, uh, Gaia's naval in, I believe it was another world, and uh, took care of the Tyranno as well as the Green Dragon. And so I actually figured it would be kind of an okay time to uh, show you guys Gaia's naval in this world. At least I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, nope. Uh, nope. I'm sorry. <laughs> Completely wrong. We're jumping in here. I think this is going to be uh, the optional boss. Uh, and I think this is the dehydrate. So you jump down here where the pentapus used to be. Yeah, here we are. Okay. Alright, so this is the, like I said, the dehydrate. Uh, this is a completely optional boss. You actually don't even need to uh, take this one down. Um, that being said, though, I believe this is the tier 5 uh, tech for Stina. Uh, I think it's like Hydra Shadow or something, or Hydra Idol one or something like that. Anyways, uh, I'm going to steal from him really quick here. We'll see what we can get. Damon Charm. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, at the very least, I could dismantle that for a shiny soot. I'm not sure if I'll actually end up doing that or not. Um, the uh, the dehydrate uses black elements, and I believe we are going to trap. Excuse me, some elements from this guy. So we'll see here. We'll see what I end up uh, getting from him. But if I remember right, I trapped a bunch of elements. Now, um, he's actually extremely easy to beat. This thing's got um, quite, I would say, quite a bit less HP than uh, most of the bosses that you would, you know, normally fight around this. Uh, time in the game. All right, looks like we're going for a black hole uh, element here. So this should be, what, tier 6 black element? Um, obviously, the I believe the black hole can only be equipped by uh, black innate characters, which, yeah, that's all right. But, uh, yeah. So it looks like it's all black. Ah, here we go. All right. Uh, and if I remember right, this guy casts this constantly. If uh, It kind of felt like it was a lot like the green dragon where he'll just keep trying to use it over and over and over and that that might be uh if the field is black i think that that's part of his uh, uh attack pattern is again you know if the field ends up all black i think he'll just keep casting it over and over yep so here we go here's the second one and i just need to get links back up and i i think i kind of i don't know maybe you could say i went a little overboard here with capturing these elements but I figured, uh, you know, it's a good time to do it, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess, um, as far as, you know, again, the, I guess the thing with uh, Black Hole is that it's only equipable black, by Black Innate, so uh, if you like, or if there's a couple of Black Innate characters that you enjoy using, you know, that's probably a good idea. Otherwise, uh, if you're not going to be using any characters that are Black Innates, then it's essentially pointless, really, to even, I guess, trap these. Short of, you know, if you just are trying to beat him and you don't want to take the damage. Uh, obviously, every time you use a trap, that's, you know, it's going to prevent all the damage that that would have done. So, um, that's kind of a, I guess, a, maybe a reason for trapping them as well. Not just for, you know, if you're planning on using it, but also uh, it's a good reduction in damage. So, again, keep that in mind if that's... Uh, or if you're going, if you're even going to try this or attempt this fight, but uh, he's already slouched over, so I can't imagine this battle is actually going to take that much longer. I guess we'll see. It looks actually, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell for how much footage I have yet of this area, but 
Yeah, here I was like, eh, do I want to attack him or should I just defend? I was actually worried about, you know, using that trap and then not actually getting it. But, I mean, to be completely honest, those traps are so cheap and I have so much money. It's not even like I really needed to worry about, you know, wasting traps. Like, who cares? <laughs> so, I don't know. Being a little bit cheap, I guess. <coughs> What are, we, what are we up to, like eight? Eight black holes now? I don't know. There we go. Alright, so that's that. Alright, and, uh, alright, so... Ooh, nice, got a free fall too. Um, which, yeah, I don't know. Tier 5, anybody can equip it though, so that's the good thing about that. Uh, obviously no star there, so um, there isn't going to be any sort of growth for the characters afterwards. That's, like I said earlier, literally just a, a completely optional fight. Um, th you don't need to uh, do this at all. So here we're, what, discussing whether or not it was right to wipe out uh, everything, or, uh, these guys? Um, oh, sorry, the dwarves and kill off the Hydra and whatnot. All right, so there it is, uh, Hydra Shadow. That is equipable by Stina, like I said earlier. Uh, that is her Tier 5 tech. Uh, her Tier 7 tech we'll actually be able to get here in a little while as well. Um, that's actually, uh, ironically, another side quest that you have to finish. Um, and that, to be honest, that, that side quest is amazing. It gets you, I would argue, the best weapon in the game. Uh, I don't, actually, I don't know that anybody would uh, not agree. I think that's, uh, that'd be a, a pretty st a huge stretch to, to not say that it is. Uh, but anyways, alright, so let's, let's make our way back out of the the marshes here. I don't think we really need to do anything else here. Uh, I guess you could fight some centaur peds if you needed like the golem summon or uh, what else do they use? I, think, okay, I want to say it was earthquake but I could be wrong on that. So yeah, so I mean I guess if you wanted to try to trap some of those go right ahead. Otherwise, I am just going to continue on here. Uh, I'll have to use this yeah, green tinkler to get... What happened here? Come on. This wasn't standing in the right spot or something. And of course, it's got to be all the way at the bottom of the list. There we go. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, so where are we headed to next? I've got this uh, tiny little cut here. I'm curious what this is. Um, it's just a little bit of footage of what looks like marble, and I'm not really sure. Okay, wow, so I ended up with six black holes there. All right, yeah. Not a bad idea to equip one of those, at least. I don't know how uh, often I actually end up using it with links, but we'll see. Anyways, all right, so here's our little cut here of marble. So I'm curious what I end up doing here. Um, I feel like right now, if you take... Oh, no, okay, the black dragon's already awake. So um, actually what I, was, what I was hoping to have happen here was uh, that blue guy that I just talked to a couple of times. He actually gives you a frame, but I think I... Uh, I came here too late um, with basically what you have to do is take a party of all demi humans and uh, talk to him twice and he'll give you a frame I can't remember the name of it but um, uh, you know I've actually talked about it a couple of different times in the in the walkthrough but at this point it looks like it's too late and that's because the the, the black dragon has already woke up um, so if I would have uh, Basically, I think what you need to do is make sure that you talk to that guy before uh, you take care of the um, marble uh, side quest where you go in and 
kill off all the dudes or kill off all the uh, the dream monsters or whatever those things are called uh, and he should again you have to talk to him twice though I believe and he should give you the frame uh, but anyways so the the black dragon is now awakened um, I'm actually gonna fight him right now I feel like uh, right now is a good time to take care of it I wanted to actually wanted to get Lynx's best weapon or Surge's best weapon, whoever, both, <laughs> either or. Um, but I wanted to get their best weapon, and uh, I feel like the easiest way to do that is to take down the Black Dragon first. Um, and the reason for that is uh, he's got the black plate, obviously. We've already, uh, or at least in the last video there with the green dragon, I talked about how all the dragons have their you know, specific color plate. And that's a piece of armor that is going to absorb uh, that color uh, of elements used on that specific character. So, um, <clears throat> with, the, with the black dragon here, obviously it's gonna, you know, give us the black plate, uh, or I'm gonna be able to steal the black plate. And then uh, that will be used uh, in a battle coming up here with uh, another extremely, I, I would say he's one of the more difficult bosses in the game to beat. And um, that's going to give us, like I said, uh, Surge or Lynx's uh, best weapon in the game. So uh, being that I wanted to uh, get that as early as possible, I figured, well, why don't we take the Black Dragon down next? And so that is exactly what we're doing here. <coughs> so here's the pillage and thunk. There's the Black Plate. Um, there's, a, there's, I think, a little bit of... Uh, De I don't know. Uh, maybe I, I don't know if there really is uh, much debate on this topic or not. But um, I, I know when I was, or the first couple of times I played the game, I was under the impression that you had to wait until certain times to steal uh, from these dragons. And that's not the case other than, uh, I guess there is one exception I can think of, and that's the red dragon. But I'll talk about that more once we actually fight him. But uh, these dragons... Or, you know, the, the, the rate of which you'll acquire the, the black plate or red plate or whatever is actually determined based on that character's uh, uh, fierce attack percentage. So if you just use, like, two weak attacks and then try to steal, um, you're not going to have that great of a, of a chance of stealing. Um, so what I usually like to do is uh, oftentimes I'll actually even like to use... Uh, um, what is it, the eagle eye element, just to make sure that they're completely uh, accurate. And then what I'll do is I'll actually wait, or, you know, build up to seven stamina, and then wait until the, the monster, the enemy, takes a turn. Uh, and then I'll use, like, a, a, a fierce attack or two fierce attacks in a row. So then he'll be down to, like, one stamina, but his fierce attack will be completely at 99%. So... Um, that, I would say, is the best way to steal. The, the great thing, though, about these battles is uh, even if you do miss, uh, you can just run away and try again. So, you know, I guess uh, even if you do miss every once in a while, it's really not that big of a deal. It can be a little annoying, granted, especially if you're, uh, especially if you're waiting until really late in the battle to try to steal, which I, I don't really know why, you know, why you would want to do that, but... Um, other than, again, I, I guess for the red dragon, he's a specific case where you have to wait until, you know, a, whatever, a quarter of the way through the battle to even attempt it. And, um, you know, but he's, he's really the only one that's like that. You don't ever have to wait until they're, like, slouched over. You know, that doesn't increase your chances of uh, stealing these things. So um, just, you know, I guess... Try as early as you can, and uh, if it fails, well then run away. Try again. And then that way you're not investing a ton of extra time into these battles. Uh, now the Black Dragon, uh, obviously with Lynx being a black in it, he's not going to take that much damage from uh, these attacks. Uh, and then I actually obviously uh, doppelganged Sprig into the White Knight, which... Same deal, you know, obviously the, the White Knight's a black innate as well, so um, two, two, I would say, really, really good characters to use. Obviously, well, Lynx, you don't have a choice, he's kind of stuck with us, but, um, you know, as far as incoming damage, those two uh, are going to do a really good job here. 
Uh, Fargo Isle, again, he was just another obvious choice. He's the only one that can steal right now, so essentially he's stuck in my party. Um, although I do love the guy, so I guess, I guess saying he's stuck in my party isn't... Uh, what? Okay, hang on. I'm pretty sure I used the White Knight's Rage ability, and now I just use Strengthen. That was pointless. Yeah, that was a waste. I should have healed with Fargo instead. Um, but yeah, anyways. Fargo is, uh, didn't, didn't mean to make him sound like he's a, a detriment to the party, because he is not. I really, really like him. So, uh, anyways. Alright, there's a heal. I do feel like in this playthrough specifically, I f just feel like I didn't heal as much as I normally do. Kind of like pushed the limits a bit more and to be frankly, or to be honest, I ended up, uh, I think, dying a lot more. Or having a lot of my characters get knocked out and then having to use the revive elements, which, you know, I guess is fine. That's what they're there for, but uh, that, that also does take up a bunch of, you know, extra stamina. And, uh, frankly, Revive actually doesn't... I mean, yeah, it resurrects your character, and that's the only way to do it, but um, the, the crummy thing about that is it doesn't leave them with a whole lot of health. So, you know, it's not not really probably the best way to go about things. It's You're probably much better off just healing, you know, as opposed to, <laughs> as opposed to letting people die and then having to revive them in combat. It's just not all that efficient. But, uh, all right, so what are we doing here? Got some... Eagle Eye back on Lynx. Get him, get him buffed up here so we can do some damage. Boom, boom. There we go. All right. So the Black Dragon is—he's definitely critical. He's looking at the ground. He knows his end is near, or the end is near. I don't know how you want to say it. Boy, 291? Man, that thing hit hard. I don't know if that was a... That was probably a crit. Let's see here. Boom. Yeah, oh yeah, that was a crit then. Unless my strength then just wore... Eh, I don't know. That still seems like that had to be a crit. That was way too much damage for one attack. All right, that's that. That is the Black Dragon down. Um, I don't know, to be completely honest, he's not that difficult. Again, I I feel like part of that is because, uh, you know, Lynx is a black innate, so it just, he just he's not going to take as much damage from uh, the black dragon as, you know, other sources. But uh, there's the Grim Reaper, so that is our, what, second um, tier 8 summon. Uh, you could put that on Lynx right now. That wouldn't be a horrible thing. Um, for me, though, uh, again, I, I barely ever use summons. I feel like the first couple of times I played the game, I used them much more often. But um, in, in later uh, playthroughs, I did not. Um, later on in this room here, we'll have to come back and there will be a... A really, really important item to get in there. Now, um, I, I believe you have to take down all of the dragons, though, first. So, uh, we will, again, like I said, have to come back uh, much later. Uh, and then this blue guy here, yeah, he says, Ah, humans defeated the black dragon. And uh, he won't say anything else for the rest of the game. Uh, until, well, at a certain point, though, Marble gets rebuilt, but I'm not sure if it's this world or if it's the other world. I think it actually is the other one, so. Um, I think, again, now, that that's the guy that's got the, um, uh, the frame, and uh, he will not, uh, see, I, ke I kept trying to get that frame from him, and he just, he won't after a certain point. Uh, once you've progressed uh, the story too far, or taken care of the, uh, kind of like the marble side quest um you know you can't get that frame anymore so unfortunately i i lost out on that for this playthrough but that's okay i'll get it in the next one all right so here we are on uh 
Forbidden? Is it Forbidden Island? Island of the Dead? Island of the Dead, I think. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> so bad I'm forgetting the names of these places. Uh, I actually don't remember which world this is either, so, uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, you're going to want to bring Karsh here. Uh, he's got a little... I don't know, kinda, he's part of a side quest here, I guess you can call it. And uh, if you visited Viper Manor and uh, interacted with the treasure chest there uh, in the... Oh, where is that? I don't know, it's, it's pretty deep in Viper Manor. The, the area was blocked off by a robot for most of... Most of the game, but uh, you can go in there, move the four statues, you know, a treasure chest appears, and if you go to the, the back of it, it'll say something like, um, hey, we borrowed the the contents of the treasure chest, uh, and if you want it, bring Sir Karsh to uh, the Isle of the Damned. And, uh, yeah, so, um, so that's why we're here. That's why we're back. Uh, this is the continuation of this side quest, I guess I'd say. Uh, the first first part of it really... Well, I mean, you don't absolutely have to get the black plate first from the black dragon, but uh, I just feel like it helps so much. It helps so much for this... Uh, or one of these boss fights that's coming up. So uh, I, I fully recommend uh, getting that first. Um... I don't know. I, I, I almost want to argue that uh, getting the yellow plate and uh, killing off the the earth dragon would be good before coming here just because salt and pepper both use uh, yellow elements. But uh, to be honest, I did OK here. I think it went all uh, it went all right. So um, and on top of that, I didn't even really equip Karsh with that many elements. So I kind of feel like I could have done an even better job here. But uh, Anyways, all right, so Salt and Pepper here think that uh, Karsh may have murdered Sir Dario, obviously is what they're, they're talking about here. Um, so we're going to have a little bit of a flashback, I guess. I'm curious to see which one this is. Ah, yes, okay, so this is when they're obviously training uh, while they're younger. There you can see Glenn in the background. Um... I actually kind of like this scene. It reminds me just a little bit uh, of uh, of Radius and um, Garai. I hope I'm, I'm saying his name right. But um, so Radius could never beat uh, Garai, uh, and that's that's uh, kind of what caused the uh, maybe a little bit of jealousy in Radius. And then you can see, you know, the, the mass immune then kind of feeds off of that. And uh, here we have obviously Riddle, which is obviously Viper's uh, daughter, uh, bringing the boys some some flowers. And uh, I think the assumption here that I have to make is that Karsh kind of did have a little bit of a thing for Riddle. Like, you know, maybe a little bit of attraction there. Um, and that that may have been kind of what fueled uh, some of what's going on here. All right, so <laughs> no, it's not that. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, Riddle obviously went to get the bellflowers in, uh, is it, I think it's Fossil Valley, by herself. And so Dario is like, whoa, it's kind of dangerous there. Maybe I'll, I'll go instead. And so Riddle then is like, well, why don't we go together? And I'm not really sure what Karsh is thinking right here. I'm really kind of curious. So I, again, I'm not a hundred percent sure, like if he had kind of a thing for Riddle or what was the deal. But obviously, he's thinking thinking about something. He's definitely distracted here. Um, obviously, Dar Dario and Riddle uh, telling him the big news that they're uh, going to be married. But here, Karsh, I don't know. He's just like 
I, I mean, I, th I feel like he's a little stunned at first. And then he's like, well, wait, okay, so what's the deal? And then they're like, oh, we're going to get married. Well, oh, married? Oh, okay, well, cool. So, I don't know. Um, and then he's, like, completely supportive of them. So, I'm not, again, I'm not 100% sure, you know, what's going on there. But yeah, I get, okay, so that that seems a little telling, right? He throws the flower on the ground like maybe he's a little frustrated. I don't know. That's my that's my take, I guess. Why do you always have to be like that, Dario? Okay. So, these four are obviously after the Masamune. Or, sorry, Masamune. Okay. So, uh, the Shaker Brothers. <laughs> Which I think is just hilarious. Uh, stay behind while these two uh, go on ahead. So the, the one thing I don't quite get there though, if you saw that scene, Karsh still was using his axe and he actually didn't have the sword. And here he's, he's uh, obviously questioning what exactly happened and he says, so what if the sword itself isn't evil uh, and just kind of amplifies what, what a person is al already feeling? So there's obviously a little bit of uh, you know question as to what the, the uh, Masamune actually does. And so there I'm not... I'm not sure if... If Karsh was talking to himself and then Glenn overheard, not 100% sure on that. But it was interesting, I guess, either way. Okay, so anyways, getting back to the present, I guess. Uh, the, the Shaker brothers are obviously uh, convinced that, uh, that Karsh is guilty. Uh, so we need to we need to take them on. Um, these guys use, like I said earlier, actually a lot of yellow elements. I think they will cast. I want to say it's Thunder Snake. I think that's the tier six yellow element. Um, as well as I know they'll use Earthquake. So uh, I'm, although I'm not 100% sure if it's you know best. Uh, to try for, you know, say Earthquake here, or if it's better to uh, try in another spot. I'm not 100% sure on that, but... Uh, and actually, I don't... I actually don't even remember if I decide to capture any here, or if I go, you know, right for the kill. Um, <clears throat> one thing, though, uh, you can actually get a, a Forget-Me-Not pot really, really early uh, in this battle. Oh, I might be... Stealing from the wrong person. Yes, I am. I'm betting I end up running away and redoing this. Resistance belt. Yes, that's right. Okay, so I wanted to check here because uh, I saw there was a typo somewhere as far as what salt or salt, whatever, has as an item. And uh, the resistance belt, I don't believe, is one of a kind. Oh, I know it's not one of a kind, but I think there's plenty of other places to get it and so I didn't actually want that uh, or want to I guess get that item right now uh, I felt like uh, the forget-me-not pot would be more useful although uh, to be completely honest I don't know how useful that actually was um, <laughs> for one thing I I only ever doppelgang into the white knight from this you know basically from what when I get it uh, to the end of the game. So, 
again, not really sure how much use I got out of the Forget Me Not pod. Probably none. Um, but I guess I did find it more useful than the resistance belt. So, uh, obviously, I ran away here, and then I'm just actually going to uh, fight these guys again. <laughs> and then by running, they're like, it look, makes them look even more suspicious. Are you, wait, what? We don't want to fight you. We don't want to kill you. How would that make him look more suspicious? Wouldn't it be more suspicious if we fought them and killed them? I'm just saying. I don't know. That's my take. But uh, anyways, all right. So let's uh, let's steal from Pepper this time, and uh, and get that that pot. Um, and uh, so by the way, uh, if I I know I've described it actually in a in a couple of videos ago anyway. Uh, but the forget me not pot actually when you equip that on uh, say Lynx or uh, Karsh or Fargo whoever you want to uh, equip it on. Uh, when that person makes a kill shot, the enemy will be added to Sprig's doppelgang list. So, with that item equipped, um, you know, you don't necessarily have to make that kill shot with Sprig in order to get enemies onto the doppelgang list. And uh, obviously, that that is actually pretty uh, pretty awesome because um, you know Sprig is not known for her you know ridiculously awesome physical characteristics. Um, it can be obviously quite difficult to land kill shots with her. Uh, but uh, that being said, uh, you can equip it on Lynx, and then obviously when he, whenever he kills that enemy, it will be added to that doppelganger list. So again, um, in my opinion, the better of the items to steal out of this battle, you know, whether or not you find that useful or not, completely up to you. Uh, if you don't ever use Sprig, who cares? Um, but yeah, interesting anyway. All right, here's Crosscut, which is basically Salt and Pepper's version of X Strike, which I think is just totally awesome. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, though, completely wrecking Fargo. If they would have picked anybody else, uh, they would have survived. But unfortunately, being that that is a red tech, and um, Fargo is blue, obviously taking a ton of damage from that ability. Um, so I think I used a Thunder Snake trap. Um, and again, though, I think these guys will use uh, Earthquake a bit too. Or at least eventually. I'm not sure when. But uh, I wanted. Uh, I, I, I think I had enough of those elements and I was actually completely or I was a lot more worried about the damage uh, from Thunder Snake so uh, obviously setting the trap fairly early on uh, I think that these guys actually won't use it though until one of them is dead and I actually I believe either of them will cast it so you don't have to worry about like you know killing one and then not having the other one cast it I think either one will cast so uh, I guess keep that in mind. Uh, so anyways, we got Pepper down. Don't have to worry about... I mean, I, actually, I'm not sure if they would have used any more double double techs, but obviously that one doing just a ton of damage to me. Alright, what do we got here? Iceberg. Iceberg, right ahead. <coughs> the, S, the SS Salt got destroyed by the iceberg. That was weak. Alright, there's Thunderstorm. Alright, so we've got that bad boy captured. Uh, I, okay, I guess we're going for maybe going for another one. I'm not sure if I actually uh, captured it a second time or not. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it looked like Pepper died though, and then was that the first thing? I think that was the first thing Salt did after Pepper died was Thunder Snake. So, or th was that Thunderstorm? Here's Earthquake. Speak of the devil. Crunch, 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 crunch. Eh, okay, that was alright damage. Oh my gosh, two in a row? What? 
Salt's kind of brutal. Take it easy, buddy. Uh, I think, actually, these guys might even cast the Tier 7 Summon. I uh, actually don't remember the name of it. Is it Thunder Thundersnake? Uh, I'm kind of losing it now. I actually don't remember which one's which. Um, they, they actually might use, uh, or if I remember correctly, if you don't have the Tier 7 Summon, uh, there's a possibility that they will use it. Uh, which I think is, ooh, I want to say it's Golem. So, uh, and I don't remember where they use it in their, um, oh, there's another Thunderstorm, nice. Okay. Um, so, and I, I, I don't remember where they'll use it in their attack pattern, but uh, I, I would suspect that they'll probably use it once, you know, the other one is defeated. Um, but, obviously, I had already captured it uh, before this, so... Uh, you know, if, if you have all of the tier 7 elements or summons captured, none of the enemies will ever use them. So, uh, again, keep that in mind. That is, there, So there could be a slight variation, you know, whether or not you uh, have learned that or not. Our, uh, Karsh gets Axiomatic here. That's his tier 7 tech. And uh, here we're going to continue on with uh, what actually happened. Uh, Karsh says he didn't kill Dario. And the time will come uh, when he can speak the truth. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> being that we just beat them down, apparently that was what it took to convince uh, them that Karsh didn't murder Daria. Which I guess, I mean, if you're... If Karsh is fighting only to, like, maim... As opposed to kill, then maybe you could argue that that makes sense, but I don't know. Anyways, we get the uh, Memento p Pendant. That is the, I believe that's actually the reward from the, the treasure chest. Uh, you know, that or that, that would have been in the, uh, the treasure chest inside of Viper Manor. Um, and that is actually the item that's required to uh, continue on with this side quest. So... Uh, I fully expect the next video we will resolve the uh, uh, Masamune side quest, I guess if that's what you want to call it. But uh, anyways, alright, so we're going to head back out to the world map and save. And um, yeah, I'm going to cut the commentary though, so I hope this guide was helpful and hope you join me for more. Alright, thanks for watching.